fillets that you only get in like the express ones. We're at the airport here, so we can't get the typical chicken. And I've actually never really tried these ones. So it's a good opportunity to try them. So that's the chicken inside. It's like an actual proper white meat and that has a marinade in it. And it tastes pretty much the same as the actual um, fried chicken. Um, except it doesn't have that skin on it. I'm gonna eat it with the garlic sauce, of course. First time flying a local Middle Eastern airline to go to Qatar from Jeddah. We haven't started boarding yet. But next time, we will be in Qatar, in a completely different Middle Eastern country, which I'm very, very excited about. Book your flight with this local Saudi airline called Flylines. Overall, the flight was really good, but the booking process, if you're trying to book this online, was a nightmare. We were finally able to get our tickets when we actually had to go to the airport and get the tickets. We're in the plane. <laughs> Not allowed? The best thing about this flight is that we got open. Come here. Welcome to Qatar. We're here for the World Cup. Okay, Dad, uh, I checked online. Actually, we do need a visa. Sure. Yeah, but it says if you're here for less than 30 days, you don't need a visa. If you're here more than 90 days, then you need a visa. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. But the Canadian website is saying that we need one. The Qatari website is saying that we don't need one. Wow, stainless steel columns. Lounge. We must go to baggage claim. This is a really nice hotel, man. Feels modern at the same time. Feels like it's uh, traditional. And these are the LOA top. This is interesting. All right, let's enter this room. Oh, gotta go the other way. That's wet, Ethan. Come here. Wet. Yeah. Now, time to head out for dinner. This way, this way. Wow. The jewelries. Look at these. Jing, 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 jing. Jing, 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 jing. I think this is like the beginning of the souk walking. We're gonna go get some food. Oh, I get I can smell the food already. All right, we 
We made it alive. Watch it, There's another big car coming. I like the way that they did the pavement here. It's not really pedestrian friendly, but stroller friendly. Oh, the shawarma station, right across the street. Trying to find a way around the souk. Oh, this is nice. Head northeast. 100%. This is way cooler. Whoa. Okay. This is definitely going to be more pricier than other places. Let's go inside. Oh yeah, they got the fires going on. Oh, look at that oven. That's so cool. All the bread is made. This is a an Egyptian restaurant. Yeah, veal bone soup. Right there. And then we got some lentil soup. Have some in my soup. Have some in my soup. What is it? Yeah. I think it has actual uh, feet, veal feet. They got some Egyptian bread, mm. and we're waiting for the malokhia to come. It's been, it's been years. It's been like two, three decades since I've had malokhia. Let's see. Mm -hmm. What tasty? This one, after finish the soup and all. Oh, yeah, Manofia right there. Yeah. It's, okay. been, it's been years. Yeah. I need to put here, grab this one. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take care for it. So, we got some Egyptian dajaj, which is chicken. With special rice with vermicelli in it. It's very, very local to Egyptian cuisine and Manofia. Manofia is a very interesting you the herb. And it's very sticky, almost similar to the stickiness of, like I said, okra. It's very, very hearty, it's very, very good and nutritious. I have the whole it's actually a leaf. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Uh, that is actually really, really good. It's very, very. Um, the slimy texture. That's not too slimy, it's like the slime with a little bit of oil. It's like oily, you could say. The texture is very good. There's garlic in it, it has lemon in it. And a bunch of other spices. And it's pretty good. It's actually really, really good. I would, I would have this. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna try putting some peanut butter chips in there. See how that turns out. Let's grab that. Ooh. Mm hmm. This all just perfect. This stuff. These are like antiques. Don't touch everything. Don't touch that. Oh, there's a sword in here. Nice. Look at this ancient stuff. Where you? This door? I would. I wouldn't mind taking this door. Beautiful door. Look at this canoe. Come here. You remember my dad drinking some karak chai? The 
There's so many cool things here, man. And that's our hotel. We're like in the central part of a thing. Okay, come on. I'll take this, you take him. Yeah, I'm sure they have lots of cameras everywhere. Okay. Look at that, they, they, they closed the stores, but they didn't like pack everything away. They're pretty... Qatar is considered one of the most safest countries in the world. And that's why you see over here all these vendors, they just left out their carpet without putting them inside the stores because they know that no one's going to steal them. We're going to the museum, National Museum of Qatar or something like that. The building that was designed by Jean Noël. This turned into a world-class city, like the roads and the AODA compliant sidewalks. <laughs> this this is not existent, not existent in Jeddah right now. Of course, I think they're gonna update that. Qatar is, is leading the way. I haven't been to Dubai yet, but I'm assuming that they are also the same. Oh, we're going to the National Museum of Qatar. We're using the metro. First time in a Middle East country that I have used the metro. Oh, okay. You heard what she said? Floor minus one. Whoa. This is this is cool. Where where are the people for the World Cup? Okay, we gotta buy some tickets. All right, let's buy this. All right, all right. I'm sure this thing was like buzzing during the World Cup. They did it in, in 10 years. They did all those in 10 years. 10 years and 300 to 400 billion dollars. Look at this, look at the safety here. I mean, like pretty much most world-class cities have the system, but <laughs> Canada doesn't. All right, so where we gotta go, where we gotta go, where we gotta go. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Aiden, look! We're like in the front of the train! Whoa! Nice! Whoa, this is one bougie train! <laughs> wow! That's amazing! Come on, Aiden, we gotta go! Look at this. Look at this. Amazing. Little, little looks and crannies for people to get lost and find new sort of spaces. That's cool. This is the kind of stuff that we would design in school but never get the opportunity to do it in real life. Very cool, very cool. This is a humongous complex. The Qatari National Museum. Other than just being a beautiful piece of modern architecture, it is a testament to the development and the success of the state of Qatar. It's like you're inside of a cave. Sand, salt, and gypsum. Yeah. That's what this building looks like. Yeah. Oh, look at the hammerhead shark. They take you from the very beginnings, from the natural history to the cultural history and to the modern history of Qatar. These are the cooking utensils, the Bedouins. Some of the first Mondays were made in here. You can see some, some rice is still left over from the last party.
This little complex here is somewhat of a mock-up of a typical village or a town in the traditional Qatari establishment. Uh, over here you see different types of dwellings, you see different types of buildings with different functions, like for example the majlis, which is the council where all the decisions are made in regards to the town's politics, economics and jurisprudence. Man, what a day in Qatar. As this first full day comes to a close, we are so excited to see what happens next. What this country has to offer. Stay tuned for the next episode.